Good morning, it's workout time. All right, we're gonna start with our stretches first. Hang downs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hang downs again. 10, 9, go crooked. Keep stretching. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I feel like it's crooked. Sorry, guys. All right, I hope I don't look lopsided. Slippers, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Flippers again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We've got quad grabs. 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, shin grabs, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hip circles, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, Knee circles, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Other direction. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Calf stretch, arm circles forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, and one. Other leg, other direction. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You've got your Achilles stretch up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other Achilles stretch back. 10, oh, I cracked. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Start squats. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lunge side to side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you're just gonna follow along as I go. Well, hello, um, forgot, Tina, right? Yeah, I forgot which color, I think it's Tina. <laughs> Tina or Crystal? All right, you guys, um, you're gonna follow along with this workout. I'm gonna call them out. We're gonna do tw 20 reps of either a body weight or a kettlebell move, and then eight burpees. 20 reps and then eight burpees, 20 reps. Just follow along. All right. So the first one will be a standing wood chop, and then we'll move on from there. I'm going to actually take this off. Okay. Let me get my music started. We don't need a timer. I'll have the whole um, workout listed too. I go to my line. Standing witch up, you're going to hold the kettlebell here, core is tight. You're going to, sorry, good. And you're going to crunch down. All right, it's like a standing sit up. We've got 20 of them. Let's go. Core tight. Inhale, exhale as you go out. Don't round your back, keep your shoulders back. We're doing 20. Good work. So 
So this for me is 20. And then you have eight burpees. I brought a bench out so you can see. You can do your burpees this way. Or if you have a piece of furniture around and you're unable to get up and off the ground, you can do them here. Right? Eight burpees. All right, our next one is called toe to hand or toe to bar. You're gonna lay down as if you were hanging. So you're gonna make your arms long. We're in 20, 20 reps. So see how my arms are long. And I bring my hips up and back. We have 20 of these, let's go. Again, inhale as you extend, exhale as you come up. Take your chin to your chest. Good work. Keep breathing, stay focused. Come on. Where are you at? This is 12 for me. Burn, bake, burn. Man, we're just 20. All right, finish where you are. Now we got eight burpees. Hello, hello, everyone. All right, eight burpees. You can use your furniture if you need to, otherwise get your, get your ass on the ground. Let's go. We're going to have eight. Good work. All right, now we've got 20 kettlebell clean catch spot. All right, you're gonna hold it here. Shoulders are down and back. Catch it, squat. We got 20 of these, let's go. Keep that chest up, core tight, hips back. Good job. Come on. That's 10 for me so far. Where are you at? Pulling, pulling those shoulders. Twenty for me. Yes, with the next. <laughs> That's what's next. That's right. Let's go for me. Come on. Nice work. All right, this one's a little cardio one. 
squat jumps. We got 20. Arms are out front. Sweep back. We got 20. Come on. Shake it off when it gets to burning. Keep going. That's 15. I got five more. Wherever you're at, just keep moving. If you're not jumping, do a dynamic, all right? It's a dynamic move. You're still using that power. 15, 16, 15, 20. Ten or eight birds. Nice and warmed up now. Follow rhythm. Find your rhythm and keep going. You're going faster or slower. It's okay. Just keep going. Keep going until I'm done. This is all going to be recorded, so you can do it again later. All right. Burpees. Let's go eight. Okay. All right, we've got curls, bicep curls. 
As we get tired, we get sloppy. So shoulders down and back, elbows tucked to your side. Slight bend in knee with that athletic base to support your back. All the way up, all the way down. We're gonna swing in our body. We're nice and controlled. Go shoulders back. Try to see that slight bend in your knee. That gives you that support you need. Okay, that's a good base. Use your core muscle to help get that up as well. That was close to your side. Good work. And breathe. Come on, sexy arms, baby. Almost there. All right, good job. If you're going faster than me, just keep going until I'm done. If you're going slower than me, just keep going until I'm done. All right, you guys are doing great. All right, we got eight burpees. Let's go. Remember, you can use your bench if you need to, only if you need to. If you don't need to and you're able, do the full burpee. Come on. All right, we've got sky crunches, so on your mat, on the floor. Don't use the bench because it's too hard. You use the bench if you're physically unable, all right? Just because it's too hard doesn't mean you run away from it. You gotta do it, so let's go. Come on, we got 20. Use your core. If you're not strong in your core and your sit-ups, you're still gaining that strength. You can grab your kettlebell. It'll help you get off the ground better, okay? And get a dumb bench up there. A way to set up, the brick will help you get. But otherwise, you're all body weight with your core. It's a lot harder to do it this way. <laughs> you'll get there. If you're not there yet, you'll get there. Inhale as you can down, exhale as you go up. Keeping your shoulders close to your ears. Good work. You know the rhythm now, don't you? We got eight burpees. Come on, get on the ground. Let's go. I don't want to do them either. <laughs> you can do it. Come on. All right, good work. All right, we've got frog pumps. If you have a band, grab it. If you don't have a band, it's okay. You can do it without. For frog pumps, your feet are in butterfly position. You want to get the band kind of close to your knees. All right, and you that in listen. All right, if you don't have a band, just if you don't have a band, push down. All right. And your, your elbows are anchored, chin to chest, you're pumping. They're rapid, okay? The 20 total. Keep that foot tight. Pump, pump, pump. Last one, squeeze. 
Good work. All right. And you keep saying this, but hey, here we go. work. All right, now we're doing knees to elbows. It's like a double crunch. You're going to make the middle knees are bent. Elbows are close to your head. Knee to elbow. That's twenty. Good job. Eight burpees. Come on, yeah. Alrighty, part one is done. Part two is quick. We're gonna do some animals. What do I mean by animals? Let me show you. This will be times. So get your water, shake it off, find some space in your room or garage or wherever you're at. You're gonna do a lot of stuff on the floor, so you might want a mat. It's all body weight. And we've got five exercises. All right, so we're gonna do gorillas. We do two gorillas shuffle back. If it's, again, if you are able, you're doing here, all right? Not if it's too hard, if just if you're able. If it's too hard, you're still down here. If you've got issues, knee issues, or things like that, you can do your gorillas here, all right? Same thing, same body movement, it's just less impact. Then we'll have bears. All right. Our bear does not go up here. Our bear goes here. You're in a plank. All right. We're going to do a couple of people there. Here. Same thing. Same body position. You're just not low on the ground. Right. All the same muscles are working. It's just less impact. All right. Again, if it's hard on the ground, if it's not doable on the bench or a piece of furniture, whatever you have. Frog explodes, hands in prayer, legs are wide, toes pointed out. And you're gonna explode, all right? If you're not jumping, again, it's a dynamic explosion. Up on your toes, swift. Then we're gonna do lateral gorillas, all right? So you're gonna start with your hands to the side, your feet past them, all right? Same thing here. It's going to go this way. Oh, wow. Right hands first, and feet. Hands, feet. So just think hands, feet, hands, feet. And then deck walk. These are going to be hard for those with bad knees, but I'll give you both variations. Get in a low squat, upright, hands on your back, and you're going to walk. Depending on where your knees are at, you can even just be a, we're working our quads, all right, and our glutes and hamstrings. So, whatever position you can get into where your knees don't hurt, Mimic it. All right. This is going to be quick. 30 seconds on, 10 second rest. You're going to do it twice and then you're done. Starting with our gorillas. I'm going to do both versions. That way I'm covering all my bases. 
Three, two, one, let's go. You get one, two, shuffle back. If you're on the bench, one, two, shuffle back, all right? Good work, yeah. Three, two, one. All right, next are our bears. You're gonna plank. It's like a walking plank. Keep that core tight. That's out of the air. All right, here we go. You want to two, three, shuffle back. One, two, shuffle back. Three, two, one. All right, back and forth. If you're using your bench, same body position. Just elevate a little. Working the same body parts, all right? Bet it's harder down here, so let's go. All right, our frog explodes. Explode. You want those plyometrics? Get your heart right up. Three, two, one, hands in prayer. Legs wide, toes pointed out. We're not leaning forward. Our hips are back, our chest is up. All right, you're here. Look up. You're not jumping. Really exaggerate that explosion. Come up with your tippy toes if you can, all right? Again, chest step, don't lean forward. We're not doing this. Let's do this. Three, two, one. All right, our lateral gorilla. Hands first, then feet, all right? Two, one. Hands, feet. All right? Same thing here. Try to hike your feet up more, you'll get more core. People go up on a handstand doing those. The higher your legs go up, the more core work you get. All right, our duck walk. Again, get as low as you can. And again, if you've got the knee issues, as long as you're working your quads, all right, chest up, walk like a boot, all right? Again, go backwards. You just go back and forth. Or you're up here. As long as you feel the movement and the tension in your quad, you're good. Get down here, you're working a little bit in your, your glutes, your hamstring also, because it's really, Balls. Chest up, core tight. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to do that whole sequence one more time. Number 10. Got a gorillas. You know what to do on the bench if you need it. You want to try? Do this on the floor. Come on. Two gorillas, shuffle back. Nice job. What? All right, we've got those bears. Again, you know how to do it on the bench. You want to try on the ground? Get your ass down there. Three, two, one, let's go. You win. Two, three, one, two, three. Keep that course. You want to make sure you're gonna play something, but it's out of the back. All right, frog explode. Go ahead and jump through the ceiling. Three, two, one, let's go. Don't let go of your hands. Keep them in that prayer position. Use them to explode up. Remember, we're not leaning forward. Our chest is up. Our hips go back. Three, 
goodness. Just a few more, come on. Three, two, one. For our lateral gorillas. The more you get into those abs, try to take them up. Get on your hand, your hand set. Three, two, one. And a little ducky ducky walk. Again, whatever you are. If it's painful, use up. All right. If it's doable, you grab it down. The lower you go, the better pressure it is. I have some people that can get all the way down. All the way down. That's tough. We're down as far as we can go. Oh, you only have 10 seconds. I want to give you a little. You are done. Let's stretch. All right, y'all. Good job. Hope you liked that workout. Oh. Sweaty. If you're not sweaty like me, do not whole other rounds. <laughs> I record all of these and post them. So that way it's something you can have in your back pocket. If you don't have a kettlebell, use dumbbells, anything weighted, just something to give you that resistance. Okay. Good work. We did exactly what the gyms did today, just from home. All right, legs are wide. We always find a way to get everyone. If you're not local at our gyms, we can still mess you up at home or in your garage. All right, we wanna give everybody the optimum workout from wherever you are. So tell a friend, we have a challenge coming up. Go on our website, click the link in my bio too, and I'll give you the link to sign up. April, Tracy, it's Monday, April 16th, 13th, April something. Look at the link in our bio. We'll give you a meal plan, support, encouragement, and amazing workouts. And good, you know, the meal plans are good. Like we always say, we get you for, you know, half hour, 45 minutes online. In about an hour in house, we can kill you in that time, but it's those 23 hours you're not with us that will make most of the difference. All right, we're giving you a leg up with these workouts, gives you a better advantage. But if you're not eating right, you, it, you just wasted your time, and it makes it harder to do your workout. You struggle in workouts when you don't eat good. You wonder why is she moving so fast? Why is he faster? Why is he stronger? Maybe they're eating better. Has nothing to do with age. Has nothing to do with fitness level even. If you're eating right and you got a good mindset, there's nothing you can't do. So really push yourself and challenge yourself. That's why it's called challenge. Because not everybody's going to challenge themselves to do it. Great work. All right, drop your shoulders, but it's so worth it, y'all. Summer is just around the corner. You want to feel good. I mean. Besides looking good, you want to feel good. I think it's really hot out there. Moving, doing all those things is really hard when you're unhealthy. So it's not, I mean, of course everybody wants to lose weight and spot what they look like. But feeling good is like the best thing ever. Feeling good in your own skin, being able to go places without struggling, without your knees hurting. Let me turn this music down. On all fours, we're going to do our cut. Uh, Babble one over here, okay? Look down, stretch your waist, stretch out those shoulder blades, tuck in your tailbone. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 
All right, we got our towel. Let that belly hang. Arch your back. Look up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And stretch your arms out. Try to get your butt back on your heels and relax. 10. You don't hear that word often, huh? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relaxation is also a part of it. Get enough sleep. Take care of yourself. Self-care is actually health care as well. So exercise hard, eat good, work hard. All right, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.